Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. I started working on the ceiling in last summer and I first started out with installing the Max Air Fan. When I finished installing the Max Air Fan, I proceeded with putting sound deadening sheets on the ceiling and then 25 millimeters uh, Armaflex and then it was time to start installing these slats. These slats are 44 millimeter by 12 millimeters to hold the ceiling in the future. If you want to see how I did the installation, you can look back on my installation video. For the ceiling, I chose 13 centimeter wide boards that are about a centimeter and a half thick. And these are boards made of red cedar wood, which I saw in somebody else's van build video. And I absolutely love the look of it. So I searched the web to find them and I treated it with furniture oil that I use for all the other projects. I got these puck lights, they are from Amazon, I will link them in the description below and we also went with this system which I got so I can dim them with a remote control and also with an app on my phone. They are dimmable and they work in two circuits. We got the boards out of the ceiling to start drilling the holes. My dad helped me with drilling the holes. Thank you dad. Because I needed a specific measurement for these puck lights, which turned out to be 53 millimeters, we used this handy silver line adjustable hole cutter, which cuts holes from 30 to 120 millimeters, which is very convenient for things like this. After all the holes were cut, we put the boards back in the ceiling and started working with the wires. We used one and a half millimeter wires and we attached them in two circuits so that I can uh, either turn on the front light or the back lights or all at the same time. We use these handy joints and these are very handy because if anything would ever happen with the puck lights, I have some spare ones. I can take it out the ceiling, get the wires out and attach a new puck light and just pop it back in, which will be very convenient. Now that's out of the way, it is time to start doing the trim. And because the part where the boards touch the, the walls isn't very clean and nice, I chose to get these awesome trims. These are made out of some sort of styrofoam and I painted them white and I glued them on there. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love this finished look. Now it took a little while for it to get done, but I'm absolutely so happy with how it's looking. I love the white trim. I love these gorgeous puck lights. I love that they are dimmable with a remote control or with an app. I just love all of it. This is one of the things that makes me super excited and it also makes it feel like a really cozy, comfy home. And I just absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm so excited about this part. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. 
So, in my comments, I got a question about the partition wall, and I promised to show you. And I don't have a video about how I made this. This was all the way in the beginning, and I don't think, or maybe I <laughs> misplaced it, but I don't think I have any footage of it. But what I did is there was an existing metal wall in here. I took it out which you can see in the video of stripping the van. And I kept it and I got a, uh, two pieces of uh, five millimeter plywood, put them on the floor, put this partition wall on top of it and uh, outlined it. Then I cut it and it was almost a good, the right size because um, it was kind of bendy. So I had to adjust it a little bit on the sides and then I placed it back in here. I kept a hole for me to go through Whenever anything would happen, I can kind of go through there. It's not convenient, but it is good for emergencies. I can go through that hole and go into the front and drive the car away if needed. I use the existing holes and the existing screws to put the partition wall back, as you can see here. And um, uh, it's not very thick material. It is only five millimeters thick as you can see here but because I knew I was gonna place the kitchen here it gets sturdy because it is attached to the kitchen um so yeah that's how I did the partition wall and here I can show you because it didn't have plywood the length I needed I got two pieces and here you can see how I attached those together. I just got a bigger piece of wood, attached it there, and then later painted over it. You couldn't really tell. This hole is for a new video. <laughs> I made a hole in my kitchen, but I will show you that in a future video. And um, yeah, so this is the partition wall. And uh, let me know if this answers your questions. If you have any more questions, just comment and I will make a video about it. So this is what it looks like from the back. Now I have to say, I have butchered it a lot. I've since drilled holes, put screws, <laughs> drilled holes, changed it. <laughs> this, uh, I, I, I'm changing stuff, so I'm gonna <laughs> paint it over. But I painted that, I have to fix that. <laughs> but um, I painted this part gray, because this is the part which is in the car, and most things that are in the car are gray. But as you can see, it fits really snug. It looks better on this side, actually. And I made this hole because I want to be able to, whenever anything happens and I need to go into the cabin, I can open this up. This is going to be a different curtain, so it's going to be easier to open. But I can open this up and then jump in the front. So I can... Well, I said jump. I'm going to climb, probably stumble and fall, and then get in the front and drive away. So, But I wanted to keep this option that I can still go um, through this wall. I have noticed that when I had this curtain closed, that it does keep a lot of the heat in here, in this part of the car, which is very convenient to keep the back a little bit cooler. So, um, yeah, I hope... This answered the question about the partition wall. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, uh, just let me know and I'll make sure to answer them in a different video. Like you saw, we cut a huge hole. I cut a huge hole in the kitchen. I'm going to get back to that in the next video, I think, because I think it'll be finished by then. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime... Don't forget to say yes to new adventures.